You'd better pack all this stuff up again. Brady, what do you mean? Only that the wedding's off. Brady! I thought I'd better make some investigations into my prospective brother-in-law, as no one else seemed interested. I've just got the answer. He was married in Montreal in 1915 to a Miss Sarah Evangeline Cutler, who is still living there. Rex. Is this true? Sure, it's true. What about it? What about it? What about it, you say? Have you taken leave of your senses? Are you quite mad? Oh, steady, Bridie. You'd better explain, Rex. Well, I don't know why you're all looking so head up. I mean, she isn't a thing to me. I was just a kid. It's the sort of mistake anyone could make. You think that, do you? We got our divorce back in 1919. Look, for God's sakes, what's all the rumpus? You might have told me. You never asked. Honestly, I haven't given her a thought in years. But don't you realize, you poor sweet oaf, you can't be married as a Catholic when you've got a wife still living? But I haven't. Didn't I just tell you I was divorced six years ago? But you can't be divorced as a Catholic. I wasn't a Catholic, and I was divorced. Now, I've got the papers somewhere. But didn't Father Mowbray explain to you about marriage? Well, he said I wasn't to be divorced from you. Well, I don't want to be. I can't remember all Father Mowbray told me. Only sacred monkeys and plenary indulgences and the four last things. If I remembered all he told me, I shouldn't have time for anything else. Now, how about your Italian cousin, Francesca? She married twice. She had an annulment. All right, then. Then I'll get an annulment. Now, what does it cost and who do I get it from? But well, does Father Mowbray have one? Look, I only want to do what's right. Nobody told me. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't tell me there isn't someone who can fix this. There's nothing that can be done, Rex. It simply means your marriage cannot now take place. I'm sorry from everyone's point of view that this has come so suddenly. You should have told us yourself. Look, maybe what you say is right. Maybe, strictly by law, I shouldn't be married in your cathedral. But the cathedral is booked, and no one there is asking any questions. Now, the Cardinal and Father Mowbray don't know about it. Nobody except us knows a thing. Well, why make trouble? Now, why not just stay mum and let the thing go through? Who loses anything by that? Well, maybe I risk going to hell. Well, I'll risk it. But what's it got to do with anyone else? Why not? I don't believe these priests know everything. I don't believe in hell for things like that. I don't know that I believe in it for anything. Anyway, that's our lookout. We're not asking you to risk your souls. Just keep away. Julia, I hate you. I think we're all very tired. We should talk. If there is anything more to say, I suggest we discuss it later. There's nothing to discuss, except what's the least offensive way we can close the whole incident. Mother and I will decide that. We must put a notice in the Times and the Morning Post. The presents will have to go back. I don't know what is usual about the bridesmaids' dresses. Do you, Julia? Oh, shut up, just, Bridie! Just, just a moment, just a moment. Maybe what you say is right. 
Maybe you can stop us marrying in your cathedral. All right. To hell, we'll be married in the Protestant church. I can stop that, too. But I don't think you will, Mummy. You see, I've been Rex's mistress for some time now, and I shall go on being married or not. Is this true? No, damn it, it's not. But I wish it were. I see. I can't go on any longer just now. We must discuss this later. <laughs> 